They say that you only live once. I say nonsense. You only die once. You live every day. How's it guys? I'm back and I'm feeling better than ever. I think I owe you guys an explanation as why I disappeared. And even maybe an apology. And maybe this video will explain a little bit more as why I had to take this break. And some of you might even relate. I was under a lot of pressure and the stresses of everyday life just got to me it is crazy times that we live in COVID and lockdowns and everything that is happening in South Africa at the moment especially when you're a father and a business owner fathers hide a lot more on the inside than you think they hide the fear and the stress of everyday life but being a father in general is not the easiest task you keep a lot more on the inside than what you actually show on the outside I was constantly feeling down, I was demotivated, I had sleepless nights and an endless tiredness that I cannot describe. I filmed a couple of videos but I could clearly see all of this in the footage when I worked through it so I deleted everything. I was clearly not in the right space of mind and definitely not in the easy stage of my life. And as much as I tried to hold on, I could feel I was losing grip. All the hard work and dedication that I've put into this channel, I couldn't let it go to waste. But as difficult as it was, I knew I had to take a break from it. The very thing that I loved most was putting me under pressure. So for the first time in over 70 weeks, I didn't upload a video. Filming and editing is really time consuming. It is time that I can use to reflect, restructure and rebuild. I had to focus on myself for a change. And I had to focus on Zuluk and where I'm going. And I didn't want my negativity to flow into the camera and into my videos. So the only way that I could free up some time and clear my mind was to stop uploading videos for a couple of weeks. So I used this time to focus on the family and to focus on myself. I had lots to work on, um, especially myself. I had some serious and hard discussions with myself. So during this time, I focused on positive things. And I started to motivate myself again. It's a sense of self-acknowledgement. I knew I fell and I had to get up. I don't want to come across as vulnerable, but I'm not scared to admit that I wasn't 20% of the Zander that I know I can be. It's times like these where you need to turn to your friends and your family, and we need to turn to each other and say, Hey bro, I've got your back. Oh, I just told myself, Zander, get up, put on your big boy pants, and face your demons. I promise you guys, this is not the easiest thing to discuss with you. That's why I'm talking about it, because I think there, there might be more fathers, more people, women, kids, teenagers, all sorts of people might go through the same things. That's why I'm having this talk with you guys. You guys can understand what I went through and why I didn't upload. To sit back, reflect, you determine your future and how I work through it as well. So maybe this could be a motivation for one of you guys watching this. And yet you can see that everyone is just a normal person. You can work through difficult times in your life. And certainly this is not an easy time in our lives. It's really a tough time. Well, the turning point for me came while I was reading my own words in an article that I did for Catch Cook. The link will be down in the description if you guys want to go and read it. And it read, people say that you only live once. And I say nonsense, you only die once, you live every day. And I thought to myself, Zander, you hypocrite, contradicting idiot. How can you write these words in an article and you don't practice what you preach? I didn't live by my own words. And that's basically how I lived my whole life. And I believe that's the only way to live your life. You're not going to be on this earth forever, but you live every day. Use it. Live. And make the most of it. I never knew that my own words could have such a big impact on me. After reading it, there and then, I picked myself up. I went, I wrote some goals and some plans how to execute these goals. To keep my mind off things, I started to revamp 
just wanted to change some things in Zuluk fishing. You guys just stay tuned to this video and see a little bit later what I did and how I changed some things and a couple of new additions to the Zuluk offering. And you guys had a lot to do with how I picked myself up and motivated myself again. And it's thanks to you that I got myself motivated and I really appreciate all the messages, all the comments and all the emails with how's it done I hope everything is well. Where are you? We miss you. We want to see your videos again. And all of that kept me motivated and I really appreciate it guys. If it wasn't for you, I don't know. Then it would have been a lot more harder on me. And um, like I said, you guys really motivated me. Whenever you feel despondent, demotivated and negative, take a step back and reflect on your life in a positive manner. Turn to friends and family. That's what they're there for. Exercise, set goals, do whatever you can to get your mind off the negative and focus on the positive. Now once you set some goals, write them down, make some plans to execute them. And then most important of all is once you pl make plans to execute those goals, you have to start doing it. And even if it's tiny, small little goal, to you it is significant. A small changes might have a big effect in your life. Hopefully you guys can see now why I disappeared and why I had to take a break from YouTube and um, how I motivated myself and hopefully this might motivate one or two of you guys as well. But that's it and done. I'm feeling amped, really positive, really good, really great. I can't wait to get back to the water to fish again. I've just come back from an awesome trip in the Richtersfeld. I'm going to start editing on those videos. I've made some changes back at the studio so let's hop over to my studio to show you guys what I've been working on, what I've changed, catch you guys in my studio. I had to get rid of all the clutter in my life and the clutter in my studio and the clutter all over. Uh, my garage is still a little bit of a mess. So I made a couple of changes in my studio. So I just want to show you guys before we go into the studio how it looked like and how it looks now. So there's a new workspace that I built for myself and I'm going to film a couple of videos there as well. Stay tuned so I can explain to you guys why I built that and what we're going to do on it. So as you guys can see, much needed changes was really necessary in my life. Made a couple of changes, changed my studio, um, the front section and my backdrop. This is all things that I had all over the place and I never had the time to put it up and I finally at the time to add it and there you can see at the back because a lot of people always ask me where does the name Zuluk fishing come from and that is where that it was my dad's boat um, he passed away about six years ago 
Um, his boat's name was Zuluk. Uh, don't ask me where he got the name. I, I have no idea. It's just, just the name of the boat. There he is on the boat. Like I mentioned, he passed away about six years ago. And I always remember him working on the boat and I have really awesome memories with my family, my mom, my dad, my wife, girlfriend at that stage. I went out on the boat with AJ and my sister and everyone. We just spent Sundays on the boat catching cob and bottomed red romans and whatever we could find, just have a lucky outing. Come back, have a nice braai. So when, when I started the company Zuluk Fishing, Zuluk Fisheries, um, I didn't know what to call it because um, I just suddenly resigned from my, work, from my job in the financial industry. I work at a financial company as a, a financial advisor, then as a broker consultant. Uh, we were driving in the car, my wife and I were talking about um, some names for the company and she just said why don't you call it Zuluk Fishing or Zuluk Fisheries as it started and um, I said yeah I like it and then yeah we did it that was about two years after my dad passed away so it is, it's kind of yeah, sentimental to me and that's something different it's but anyway back to back to the channel and why I made these changes and things that are happening in, in Zuluk I'm really really excited to share some things with you guys where do I start Okay, guys, um, you guys have seen my merchandise. So that is one way for you guys to support me. I'm going to share three ways to see how you guys can support me, guys, because I'm talking about the support because, because I, I really do enjoy having this YouTube channel and I don't make any money out of it. It, it actually costs me a, <laughs> a hell of a lot of money. It's camera gear, it's fuel, it's bait. It is an uh, overly expensive laptop to edit editing programs, a lot of things just go with it. Fish doesn't always play along, so sometimes I need to go fishing two, three times a week to get this video made for you guys. And um, obviously that costs money. There's a little, I get a little bit of income from the views, but it's not a lot, really not a lot. It doesn't sustain me, it doesn't help me. So I need the support of you guys to help me to, let's say, fund this channel or to just cover the expenses and make it worth the while for me to make this video and I certainly don't make these videos for money that's that's not why I do it but I can't have the channel take too much of my own money and take a lot of my own time to make the video so it needs to make kind of sense and balances out because I do enjoy making these videos and that's why I'm making them I'm making them because I enjoy it I enjoy sharing my experiences with you guys I do enjoy sharing my knowledge and information with you guys so it's not about the money don't get me wrong but that money to keep this channel running needs to come from somewhere a lot of you guys have supported me in the past and i thank you guys a lot for that for the support of the channel you can buy some merch i just got these hoodies in it's a new color and i think it's my favorite color it's like they call it the black but to me it's more like a gray color and i really like it with the new logo in the back i don't know if you guys can see it but that is on the catalog. There's some more hoodies, there's some buffs, there's really, really lacquer hoodies that my wife wear them, I wear them, a couple of my friends wear them. It's like the hoodie you've seen in the first part of this video, that black one. I have a grey, a navy blue, a royal blue, and the black. Yeah, four, four colors. But check the catalog out and you can see what you like. The sizes are standard, so if you wear a, a large shirt, just buy anything large, Zulu or I, I wear everything large, so my t-shirts, everything that I wear casually, that is a large, all my Zulu merchandise is a large as well, and um, yeah, it fits really lacquer, like really comfortable. Second thing, the third one is, I'm quite excited about the third one. Then secondly, you saw that um, second part of um, how I changed my studio, I'm looking right at it, it's right across the room opposite of me. There's two purposes for that workspace, let's call it a workspace that I've built. Firstly, it is going to be a workspace backdrop for when I'm doing videos like tutorials, trace demonstrations and uh, just a little change of scenery in the, in the studio as well. Secondly, why I built that little workspace for myself, because as from now, you can purchase Zuluk fishing traces. So these traces are exactly like I use them. I just want to put this down and take this little cord here and the trace apart. The traces are exactly as, as I use them. I make them myself. It's my knots, the lengths that I use. 
Um, the terminal tackle that I use, the swivels, the beads, the exact hook sizing, everything is just exactly as I used it. There's a range of different traces that you can, it's basically going to cover all, all your bases from heavy full metal traces all the way down to your small light tackle scratching for bronze bring traces. So there's galoon traces, there's cop traces, traces for shad, um, light light tackle of, or light bite traces, medium bite traces, duck belt trays, um, heavy shark trays, um, like the full metal for your raggies, big bronzies and, and everything it is there. Go and check it out, it will be on the catalog as well. Then what I did, um, just to secure, put my signature on there, so it's as used by Zander de Beer. And then on the back, um, this is still a sample, there's still a little spelling error, a spelling mistake on it, it says cut and release, um, but um, yeah, this is just a sample. The face comes in front with a little description there, logo on front. On the back, what I did, I gave some product details as the description of the trace. So you have your targeted species on the back right there, then some other species that you can target with that, that trace and bycatchers. It's not all the species, but it's some of the species, you know, most common ones. And then also what I did, I put this little box in here and that gives you everything that this trace consists of. So um, for instance, the full metal, it consists of one 12 or a 14 BKK inline circular, and number one Japan power shovel, two beads, 175 pound fish mat carbon coated wire and a number four Japan power shovel that is sliding on your trace. The reason why I did that is because if you guys want to go and make your own traces you know exactly what I used. So you don't have to ponder what size swivel, what thickness of carbon coated wire, which carbon coated wire to buy, what size of swivel, what size of hook, all of those things you can use my trace even if you just buy one trace and use it as a sample trace for yourself to make new traces that's gonna that's gonna help you as well and then what I did as well um, obviously added my um, Instagram handle on there then I added QR codes on it as well the one QR code takes you directly to my channels if you're not subscribed yet you bought a trace recently or you just bought a trace you can scan the QR code and you can subscribe to my channel if you want to um, otherwise what you can do is you go and search on my YouTube channel um, for trace and bait demos where I use this trace and um, you can just get more information on it in the future videos in the future I will have um, more videos of bait demonstrations and everything and I'll sort that out I just need to go yeah, need some more time but we're going there there's some really lacquer plans I think the other QR code is the still fishing website and that is where all of this is available you can buy all the tackle all this tackle in this little box and many more obviously rods reels spread everything is available at still fishing your prices and services out of this world really great so go and check it out scan scan the, the qr code and it will take you directly to the still fishing website and um you, know, you can purchase everything that you require to make these traces yourself so yeah, that's it. That's the traces in a nutshell. You can order them. Just send me an email at zulukfishing at gmail.com and I'll send you the catalog with the merchandise and the traces. It's on there. Complete the order sheet. Send me the proof of payment and I'll send the goodies off to you. Guys, yeah, it's coming back to tool fishing. That is also a way that you can support my channel. So for every online purchase that you do through my link, or when you purchase from Zulu Fishing and you add my referral code, a small percentage of that purchase goes towards Zulu Fishing. Then something that I'm really excited about and I've made a post on Facebook already about it as well as on the weekend of the 10th to the 12th of September, we're going to have a little get together uh, fishing school clinic type of vibe thing there's 25 spots available and uh, some of the guys already booked paid and secured their spots what we're we going to do is friday we're going to get together it's on a farm on the canon side of the gauritz river it's a high, literally like 100 meters from the estuary you can bring your light tackle spinning stuff with if you want or you can use just use some of mine 
you can fish a little bit in, in the estuary if there's brights in between. But what we're going to do is Friday night we're going to have a little get together, a meet and greet. We're going to have something to pry, have a beer or coke if you, if you don't drink anything. But it's not going to be a party, it's going to be a get together and talk and tackle school. And it's all be, it's going to be focused around learning the art of fishing and learning some new, new tips and some things that you guys will help you in the future catch more fish. Saturday we will have a full program. We will get up with the breakfast, have a really nice breakfast. And um, then the formalities will start, oh, not formalities, but the topics will start and the day schedule will start. We'll talk about things like water reading, bait demonstration, bait presentation. Um, I'm going to show you guys some baits. I'm going to elaborate more about when you use what bait. It's going to be a full dedicated day around fishing. When we take a topic, we're going to have a comprehensive discussion around it as when to use what baits, where to throw them, why do you use them. Why do you go sometimes bigger, smaller, all sorts of different things. Then we're going to go over to the next topic and we're going to go to traces. What traces to use? How do you use them? When do you use them? What specific species do you target with these traces? There's obviously going to be demonstrations on them as well. Then I'm going to have a whole range of rods and reels there. And um, they're going to be there for two reasons. First reason, we're going to discuss reel and rod combinations as to how to pair up your perfect combination for your style and for your species or whatever you want to catch um, how you're going to choose the right rod and reel and set up an action for your requirements and then secondly they're there for you guys to feel test throw cast play with and just see and feel them so that you can get a good idea of how they feel and which one do you like most then we're going to have a casting tutorial I'll give you guys some tips on casting, how to increase on your distance and how to get a smoother action out of your cast to hit those four banks at the back. There's going to be a water reading discussion and I'm going to mention a couple of things like reaching the back bank and uh, obviously I need to help you guys to get a further cast to reach those banks at the back. And then if the weather permits, we're going to take a walk down the beach. Everyone's going to go down and I'm just going to talk to you guys as to what I see. How do I look at the water? What do I look for when I'm targeting a specific species? So I can actually show you guys that's the rolling water that I'm looking for. That bank is too deep, that bank is too shallow, that trough has too much current, all those different things. And while we're there, you can ask me where and what and just get all the information that you require and I'll gladly give it to you. So while all of this is happening, while we're going through the different topics, we are going to have a lamb on the spit. So the spit will be going for a couple of hours and then late afternoon or dinner time, we'll have really nice salads and uh, like a lamb on the spit. There will be some snacks, I will bring snacks. Everything will be there. All that you need to bring would be yourself. You know, a couple of smaller things like a sleeping bag or pillow and a towel and normal things like that. But I will provide everything, I provide the accommodation, I provide the meals, I will provide some snacks, some cool drinks, a little bit of beer. You guys bring your own, own beer as well, if you would like to drink more than one or two beers. But anyway, um, yeah, and then Sunday we'll maybe, depending on how much topics we went through and discussed, or you guys can give me some suggestions while we're there, Sunday we can do a little bit more, one or two more topics. Um, off the breakfast that is as well of course and we will depart a topic as well that we're going to discuss and i'm going to show you guys is light tackle lure fishing in estuaries because the estuary is right there i'll bring my light tackle estuary stuff with as well show you guys some tips and tricks regarding um, light tackle estuary fishing talking talking about the right actions the right braid to use right size of reel the different actions of the lures all sorts of different things. Yeah, we'll also talk a little bit about paddle tail and lure fishing in the surf or cob. So there's many, many, many topics to be discussed. Um, then I had a chat with Assassin and I fish. They will sponsor a couple of prizes for that weekend. There, there will be some caps and woodies, braid. I don't know what they're going to get, but there will be some prizes that we will give away over the weekend. I spoke to Stefan from Still Fishing. He might there, be there as well. So you guys can have a chat with him and twist his arm for a little bit of better prize. 
and um, yeah, just ask him for some details and to rod and reel combinations or whatever you want to purchase. Yeah, just meet Stefan as well. So if you ever phone in, you know who you're talking to. And I will sponsor a prize as well for that um, trip. The prize would be a, a weekend fishing with me for the winner and two of his friends. Whenever the time suits you, um, it will be valid for a year. So anytime within the next year, um, when I'm available and the winner is available, we can do a really lacquer weekend fishing weekend for free. I will provide the accommodation. We just fish lacquer for the weekend. I don't know how I'm going to give that prize away. I might um, raffle it or auction it or however, I don't know how I'm going to do it. The reason why I want to raffle or auction it is because um, I want to take that money or the proceeds from that prize and donate it to a charity. I have um, a charity that I support and um, I will give a little bit more details about that charity in the future on this channel as well. Yeah guys, that's basically it. If you want any more information on how you can purchase the Zuluk uh, merchandise, the traces or information on the weekend away the fishing school, send me an email on zulukfishing at gmail.com. Just send me an email and I will gladly respond to you guys. I'll give you the pricing and, and a little bit of finer details and um, we can take it from there. So there's not a lot of places left. A couple of guys already paid and booked, like I said. So you have to jump jump on it, get to it. And um, yeah, I'd like to see you guys there. Remember, 10 to 12 September. And if it's really successful, we might do it quarterly or two monthly and um, get more of these things up and going. We might even go to other provinces and do a similar thing in different provinces if that, if that is something that you guys would like. But it has to be worth it and attendance needs to be good. So, yo, um, I think I've covered everything. Um, glad to be back. Awesome to talk to you guys again. I can't wait to do a little bit more of videos and fishing and just getting out there. And um, check out my video next week. It's going to be on my Richtersveld trip that I did with the family. And from there, we will be back with the weekly uploads. Every week, Wednesday night, 6.30, new upload on Zuluk Fishing. So if you want to see more of Zuluk Fishing and you want to see actual fishing and not me just talking and um, bubbling, um, hit the subscribe button, put on the notification bell so you would be notified once I upload a new video. So yeah, that's enough talking and bubbling from my side. Um, I think I've covered everything. I don't think I've missed anything. Traces, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, I think I have. Um, if this is your first time clicking on Zuluk Fishing um, a video and you're still watching, I don't know why you're still watching if you clicked for a fishing video. But anyway, if you want to see me, if you want to see proof that I actually do catch some fish, click on this box right here. So the normal end of the YouTube video story, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, click on it, I don't know, whatever the guys say, just subscribe, like, do it, it's free, cheers guys.